This is the generator. It generates electricity when you spin it. But how does it work? What wizardry is inside? Well, actually, generating an electric current is fairly simple. All you need is two things. First, you need a conductor, like this coil of copper wire, and you need a magnet. Now, this is a galvanometer. It measures small amounts of electric current, and I have my copper wire attached to it. Watch as I put the magnet inside the copper. I get a little bit of an electric current, and then I take it out. It goes in the other direction. A little bit going this way, and then I take it out a little bit going that way. Positive, negative, positive, negative. This kind of current that goes back and forth is called alternating current, or AC. It's the same kind of electricity you have in your house. But here's the cool thing. Watch this. I put the magnet in, and I leave it. It goes back to zero. You only get electricity when you move the magnet. All right, so let's create our generator. Instead of starting with a copper coil like this, what if we just had the magnet and we have it staying still like that and we move the conductor past it like spinning? Hmm? It's good, but not great because we're only getting a little bit of electricity as it passes. So let's make it more efficient. Let's put in some more magnets, one on either side and one on the top. And now when we spin it, it goes past all of these magnets, and every time we get a little bit of electric current. Well, this is how a generator works. If you take an electric motor or a generator apart, you can see there's a coil of copper wires on the shaft, and it spins around like this. And on the inside, there are magnets. So there you go. When you put it together and spin it, you get an electric current. Or if you put an electric current in it, it will spin, just like an electric motor. And that is how a generator works.